Well, Wall Street debates the recent rally and whether it's really just a rally inside of a bear market or some kind of a real market bottom, retail investors, they do what they do. And they're jumping back into the markets. And at a sign they're willing to take on more risk, so-called meme stocks have seen a big resurgence in recent weeks. Get this. Since the June bottom for the S&P 500, popular meme stocks like AMC Entertainment, GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond, which, by the way, rose 40% yesterday, have soared. And in the time, the S&P 500 has added a little more than 10%. We talked about Bed Bath & Beyond. What a move. By the way, no news on BBBY. And it rose 40%. For more on the return of the retail investors, bring in Gunjan Banerjee, markets reporter at the Wall Street Journal's Money and Investing Team, and a CNBC contributor, and Liz Young, head of investment strategy at SoFi. It's great to have you back on, Liz. By the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you a little picture today from cops later on in Milwaukee. But that's, <laughs> that said, please do. what do you make of this return? I mean, is this a big risk for these investors who might have been burned a couple times? Well, so I'll tell you a couple things that we're seeing on our platform. And when the first meme craze happened and then when the bear market happened, there was sort of this fear and, and it was talked about a few times that what about all these new investors that came into the market and now experience their first bear market? Is it going to scare them out of investing? And even the meme stalkers that got hurt in that, is it going to scare them out of investing? We conducted a survey of our members recently and 74% said that even despite recent volatility, they still plan to invest as much or more in the next six months. So we can let that fear go. The individual investor, the retail investor is here to stay. Some of the other things that have been interesting, though, is we looked at the average daily volume. When you look at just by shares, the average daily volume in these three stocks, these meme stocks, it's two times bigger in August than it was in June and July. On our platform, it's four times bigger in August than it was in June and July. So the retail trader is definitely here. But here's what I would caution people on. Look, it's OK to kind of take part in some of this that ends up being the trendy conversation of the day. But be careful not to invest things, especially in a stock like Bed Bath & Beyond that's up this much over just a couple day period. Don't put money in it that you're not prepared to lose in case things turn the other direction very quickly. Liz, how, how much of this movement in these three stocks in particular is driven by high short interest and low free float? In other words, a little bit of demand can really juice the stock. Yeah, well, so there's a couple things. I think a lot of it is driven by that. But the other piece of it, as we know, it's August, right? There's low volume. There's low trading volume in the market generally, which is when you tend to see more of these bigger dislocations. But when you look at a stock like Bed Bath & Beyond, 45% short interest, it became a pretty big target for some of these traders. Traders, So that definitely is having a bigger impact. Yeah, Gudjan, you, you know, you wrote recently, I think it was maybe five weeks ago or something, how many of these tech stocks have become value names because they got just they got kneecapped so badly that their price to earnings ratios actually looked reasonably. I mean, we've kind of had this little market pop right now. What are what are you hearing about how people view tech generally right now? It's really interesting. I think retail investors, a lot of them have had diamond hands this year and not just when it comes to meme stocks, which have cropped up from time to time, but especially tech. You know, individual investors' love of tech stocks has not cooled this year. We saw their purchases of tech stocks, think Fang stocks, think NVIDIA, Tesla, a basket of those. Buying activity hit a record, at least going back to 2014 in July, while those stocks were really getting crushed. So a lot of these investors have stepped in to buy those stocks at a discount. And we saw that yesterday. NVIDIA dropping around 6%. But that was one of the top buys for individual investors on the retail brokerage Fidelity.